Research, particularly from Japan, has shown that without a doubt, spending time in a forest or wood or park increases immune activity. Studies suggest that 50% of the effects come from the chemistry of the forest air, that's the higher oxygen content, but as well the chemicals that are expelled from the trees that help the trees normally fight off diseases, but actually boost our immune systems, increasing something called the natural killer cell count. It has been shown that trees and plants in woods, forests and parks release antimicrobial essential oils called phytoncides. Phytoncides protect plants from germs, but they can do similar in people. These oils stimulate the production of natural killer cells, incredibly important immune cells that fight viruses and other pathogens in people. For example, alpha pinene, an oil released by the pine tree more than doubled natural killer cell activity in a study looking at its effects on leukemia cells. There's so much evidence for this, mainly from Japan, that the Japanese medical system, doctors in other words, prescribe what they call forest bathing for the following conditions. High blood pressure, stress, some heart conditions, obesity, high blood sugar levels, poor concentration and memory, depression, cancer, pain, and low energy. Most of us live somewhere near a wood, forest, or countryside, but if we don't, then a park with trees will do fine. Wrap up really warm and drive to or ask a family member to drive you to your nearest woodland or tree dense area. Then spend half an hour to a couple of hours there connecting with nature through all five of your senses, sight, smell, sound, taste and touch. Just a small amount of time around trees, relaxing without a phone is so good for you. It also unplugs you from technology, it slows you down, and it brings you into the present moment. Remember, warrior, not worrier. Let's live an antiviral life. <laughs>